Hi, hello everybody. Um, I want to welcome you to this interesting um, package. Um, you know, um, the general election of Nigeria will be coming up next year, 2023. As a result, a lot of people who have interest in um, the positions are beginning to declare their interest. Um, the one that broke the internet earlier today was the declaration of a presidential ambition of the current vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the person of Professor Yemi Oshibanjo ever since he declared his interest to replace his master, President Muhammad Buhari, there have been a lot of uh, reactions. People have been talking, a lot of sad faces and a lot of, you know, exciting faces. Here we bring you a full speech of the presidential declaration of Professor Yemi Osibanjo, current Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Over to you, Professor Osibanjo. What do you have to tell Nigerians in anticipation to your... um? ambition to become the president of Nigeria if elected. For the past seven years, I have served as vice president under a true Nigerian patriot, a servant of the nation in war and peace, and a man of integrity, President Muhammad Buhari. We have, together, worked through some of the most difficult times in the history of our nation, but we have remained focused on securing the country, on providing infrastructure, and growing our economy. As stipulated by the Nigerian Constitution, our tenure will end next year. In this period of seven years, I have served the government in several capacities, and I have, at the direction of Mr. President, represented our country in sensitive, high-level international engagements. I've been to practically all local governments in Nigeria. I've been in markets, in factories, in schools, in farms. I've been in agricultural, mining, and oil-producing communities, in the Delta, in Kebi, in Inugu, in Bogo, in rivers, in Plateau, and Andu, and in all other states of the Federation, listening to the diverse experiences and yearnings of our people. I've visited our gallant chiefs in the Northeast and our brothers and sisters in the IDP camps. I've felt the pain and anguish of victims in violent conflicts, terrorist attacks, flooding, fire, and other disasters. I've been in the homes of many ordinary Nigerians in various parts of the country. I have sat with our tech pioneers in Lagos, Edo, and Kaduna, with our Nollywood and Kanye actors, with our musicians from Lagos, Nigeria, and Kano, and I've spoken to small and large businesses. I stood where they stood, and I sat where they sat. I know, I know their, their hopes and aspirations, aspirations and their, their fears. fears. And I believe that in those hopes and aspirations are the seeds for the great Nigeria that we all desire. I believe that the very reason why the Almighty God gave me these experiences, these insights and these opportunities is that they must be put to the use of our country and its great peoples. Which is why I am today, with the utmost humility, formally declaring my intention to run for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the platform of our great party, the All Progressive Congress. If by the grace of God and the will of the people, I am given the opportunity, then I believe that first we must complete what we have started. Radically transforming our security and intelligence architecture, completing the reform of our justice system, focusing on adequate remuneration and welfare of judicial personnel, and ensuring justice for all and the observance of the rule of law, rapidly advancing our infrastructure development 
especially power, roads, railways, and broadband connectivity, providing an excellent environment for businesses to thrive, taking the agricultural revolution to the next step, especially mechanization and developing the farm-to-table value chain. Making sure that the government, its agencies and regulators serve the business community. Creating a tech economy that will provide jobs for millions of young Nigerians. Enhancing our social investment program to a full-scale social welfare program. Completing the promise of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty within this decade. Completing the task of ensuring that all Nigerians, male and female, attend school, reforming our educational system for relevance to the challenges of this century, completing the task of universal health coverage for all, and strengthening the capacity of states and local governments to deliver on their respective mandates. Above all, front and center of our efforts, will be the provision of jobs and opportunities for our young people. I now most solemnly and respectfully seek the support of fellow Nigerians everywhere in this land and the diaspora, young and old, male and female, in the great and exciting journey that we have ahead of us. I seek your own support. We will working together, established by the grace of God, in Nigeria of our dreams, in a few short years, we will build on the foundation laid by our predecessors. We will need to move with much speed, intentionality, and perseverance towards the vision of a prosperous, stable, and secure nation. I'm convinced beyond doubt that we have the creativity, the courage, the talent, and the resources to be the foremost black nation on earth. Let us now birth the expectations of greatness conceived generations before us. Let us build a Nigeria where the man from Nehemi sees the man in Guzo as his brother, where the woman in Wari sees the woman in Jango as her sister, where the love of our nation burns alike in the hearts of boys and girls from Boko to Yenegoa. Where everywhere in this land is home for everyone. Where our diversities, our tribes and faiths unite us rather than divide us. Let our tribes become one tribe. The Nigerian tribe. Where all are treated fairly, justly and with respect. Where all are given equal access to the abundant opportunities that God has bestowed on this nation. It is time. God bless and keep our republic and her great people. God bless you. Professor Yemi Osibanjo, I respected you. That is the reason why I, I allowed this clip to, to finish playing before I say what I want to say. At a point, I wanted to stop the video, but that would be disrespectful of our vice president. There are very, there are a lot of questions that um, my fans are sending in, um, asking me because I tweeted, I told them that I was gonna play the clip, and there are a lot of questions. They thought I was gonna come live. There were a lot of questions that they were asking. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be, you know, talking. I'm going to be asking those questions right here, even though um, you're not here to answer, but I know that my video will get to you. Um, you know, as celebrities and public figures, people reach out to us, they ask their questions, knowing fully well and hoping that, you know, for adventure that you guys will come across, you know, our videos and listen to those uh, questions. Sir, according to you, which we already know, for the past seven years, you you have been with this administration as the vice president. <laughs> and all this sermon that you preached here, you are a very intelligent man. We all know. A professor for that matter. We know. Look at how sweet your English sounds. So good. We know. But for seven good years, you are second in command. 
all these sweet things you are mentioning that you will do when you become president, why didn't you advise your ogre to do these things? So when you 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 when we give you the chance, you stay another eight years and leave, and your vice your your vice will come and begin to sing all this poem to us, right? <laughs> As a professor that you are, what have you done to get the our our university students back to school ever since they've been on strike? What have you done? Have you advised the Minister of Education? Have you advised the Minister of Labor? Have you advised your, your or Gabin, the President, about the condition of our children who have been at home as a result of ASU strike? I'm talking about as a professor. Now, as a pastor, what have you done in regard to those Christians that have been massacred, especially the ones in, in, in Southern Kaduna? What have you been doing? What have you been doing to those lives that have been targeted because of their religion? What have you done as a pastor? And again, my question is, you mentioned insecurity. And you keep saying you will build on what you guys started. That you will continue from where you people started. You, you will continue from where you stopped. May I remind you, professor, that you people did not start anything. You, you didn't start anything. Talk more of completing it. I was expecting you as a professor to, to be smart about your, you know, your, your declaration. Try as much as you can to avoid mentioning what you did or what you started with your, your, your boss, the president in, in charge right now. Because Nigerians don't want to hear that. Nigerians are very mad at this administration. So for you to come out here to tell us that you will continue from where you people stopped. It sounds more like a threat to us. We should be, Nigerians, I think we should be worried. If the incoming president or somebody that is begging us for votes is telling us that he will continue from where they stopped. Where they stopped is about the, how many people that was, that was bombed in the train along Kaduna Abuja Road. That you people could not give account how many people that bought the the, 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 the the train. Are we talking about the, the people in the in the in the, in, 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 in IDP? Are we talking about the killings in the in the southeast Nigeria? Are we talking about the killings in, 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 in the north in the in, in the north east and north central? Where do you want us to trust you that you will continue what you people started? That is the question that these people are asking. Right now. Right now, oil is booming because of the problem going on in, in bet between Russia and Ukraine. <laughs> but in, our, in, in Nigeria, a, an oil producing country, <laughs> we cannot afford it. The citizens cannot afford fuel that we produce on our own because we have no refineries. And for seven good years, you have been a vice president and you could not advise your oga your ogre to have a functional refinery so that there will not be this thing that you people are calling are calling subsidy we have heard enough nigerians are saying that we have heard enough meanwhile um your boss heard about your declaration and he has something to say <laughs> and i want to show nigerians what your boss uh, uh, your godfather had to say when he heard of your declaration. Here we go. Um, here we go. About 2023 election, <laughs> uh, your boss said, I have no son grown enough to challenge me, says Tinubu. <laughs> After Tinubu heard of... Uh, his, one of his son's uh, declaration to run as the president. Uh, they ask him, uh, God, what do you have to say about your son that is coming out to, to, to challenge you? He said, no. <laughs> I have no son that is grown enough to challenge me. <laughs> uh, we used to hear that um, uh, every good father wishes and prays for his son to be greater than him. But uh, right here, this father is saying that he, that he has no son grown enough to challenge him. <laughs> Whatever that means, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Nigerians, I will leave you to decide. Put in your comments uh, in the comment section. 
ask your questions in the comment section as we will make every effort to reach out to the vice president Yemi Osibanjo who had just declared his intention to um, run for the seat of the president come 2023 presidential uh, election. I remain my humble self at Nosco Talk Show International Celebrity Talkative Number One. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click on the subscribe button, share our videos, like and comment. Thank you so much. I will see you some other time. Anosco Talk Show. Bye.